My name is David. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Today we're gonna do something cool. I got something awesome in the making for like four years, man. I went to the flea market one time and I picked something up and then I got the other half like just recently. So it's something super rad I, and I'm excited. That's the reason I'm recording it so you guys can check this. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day because today's Friday and today is beautiful and I love freaking Fridays So I'm gonna tell you guys what I got ready check it out. All right, so right there I picked this up at a yard sale for like I think it was two or three dollars I'm not a hundred percent okay then four years later I found this at a at a, a flea market for two dollars which is great I, I I don't know I've never tried this so I don't know if this works couple bucks hell yeah I'm picking it up it came with no cables came with nothing so then once I found this at a flea market it came with no cables it's got a few scratches on it and it's dirty it needs to be cleaned this connects to this on the back no cables nothing came with it so this I picked up at a flea market also way way back I don't remember when but it was it was some time back that was only a dollar it was a block with tons of power supplies and I'm always picking up power supplies when I see them all right so that's that's the reason why I picked this up I saw that it was eight volts and it was a name brand and I wasn't leaving it came with the both the cables attached to it and it looked like it was in good shape uh, still has some dirt on it from when I found it uh, this is 8.5 volt. I think it is. This is yeah 8.5 volt. All right now according to this PlayStation now if you look over there It looks like it says 7.5 volt now I'm gonna do the X math and I'm gonna say 7.5 volts and 8.5 volts is not really that much of a difference It should be perfectly fine, but since I'm going to plug this in and, th and I looked at this and I said, huh, that says the same thing as the PlayStation 7.5, but doesn't say nothing about amps. So I'm thinking to myself, if it's plugging directly in, it's splicing the power because that part right there plugs into the PlayStation. That part plugs into the PlayStation, which gives the power. So it, it pretty much takes the same cable that goes in here that comes with it. This part goes into the PS1. So it basically it just splits the power for this and for the PlayStation. It it's taking the same adapter. I'm not sure how it doesn't affect this because this thing has got to be pulling at least two, two to five volts. So it, it blows my mind how that, that doesn't affect it. I'm sure they did that to save money. So I was thinking to myself, hey, 8.5, 7.5, two volts is like nine. So since this thing apparently worked, the 7.5 that this came with, there's no reason I can't throw the 8.5 at both of them, give them both enough power to, to work. What I want to do is I want to see if this works and I want to see if this worked because I've never tried either one of them out. I had to dig this out, which took me about an hour to find that. So now we're going to try it out together. So if it powers on, that's great. Um, here I have one of my favorite PlayStation 1 games, which is the game called One, featuring Bruce Willis. A backup copy of uh, Crash Bandicoot Warp. Uh, just to see if this has been modded, because I don't know if it's been modded. I never tried it. I mean, it could be, I don't know. Because I, I hear a lot of rumors that people end up picking up old PlayStation systems and they ended up being modded. No, I don't know if this would be one of those moments, but if it's modded, that's, that's super rad. It's even better. All right, so we're gonna do this together. We're gonna go ahead. All right, so let's just take this, put this aside. Let's put the PlayStation here. Uh, let's stop by putting the screws in. So this plugs just like that. You can see how simple that pretty much is. Including instructions with something like this would be... Insulting. So basically just plug it right in. Okay, I'm gonna fold this down while I put the screws in. And then you can see here, there's the hole right there for the screw. Here's the other hole right here for the screw. I hope it reaches. I only eyeballed the screw, so I wasn't sure if it's actually gonna reach. So if you look here, you see that there is RCA outputs. Well, after close examination, I realized that it doesn't say output. That's it says bullshit. Inputs, meaning you can plug something else into this screen. If this works, this will be going with me into the camping trip with you guys with my camera oh wow that feels not really nice it feels really really secure and tight all right the power supply i did not try to see if it actually works if it doesn't power on then i'll go for the power supply first i figured it'd be fine i didn't really try man this thing looks like it's been through hell it looks like somebody freaking dragged this thing through the dirt man look at this thing this, whoa, this kid must have really pissed off his mom to sell this thing all right, I plugged it in. So now we're gonna see if it powers up. 
The screen is not on. Oh wait, there's a power button. All right, let's put a game in. Dude, I love this game. If you are a PS1 player and you love the PS1 like I do, this is a, I love this game. I really do. What's going on here? Oh, it looks like it's got some lube issues. I'm gonna have to add some WD-40 to this. Oh, here's the input right here. All right, ready? Volume. Oh shit! Oh my God, it works! Oh my God! I can't believe this freaking thing works! The color's not that great. All right, so the screen's got like, the, the buttons are kind of like, looks like they've been played with a lot. So the brightness is I all- I mistake. Sounds like an NSYNC song. Oh yeah! You might been hurt, babe. That ain't no lie. <laughs> Sounds just like an insane song. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna get my controller. All right, so I got my original DualShock controller. Insert. Man, I'm so used to the analog. I can't even figure this out. All right. So, I mean, here's what I'm gonna say. Okay. Since it. You know, it, it's not something that I would spend my time playing on. I'm happy with this find. This is one of those things like th this literally is such a perfect example of why I still yard sale, why I go to flea market still. You know, th this is the perfect example of what I mean. Like something like this is not something that anybody's dying for probably, but finding it unexpectedly is just through my, through like completely blows my mind. So anyways, let's see if we can play a copied game on it. No, 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 it's not mod. No, it's definitely not modded, that's for sure. Am I happy? You bet your ass I'm happy. This is so freaking rad. I'm happy with it. I hope you guys are happy with this video and you guys find it as interesting as I do because I get wicked excited when I see stuff like this. All right, well, I'm gonna say thank you to you guys for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and were entertained this as much as I was when I discovered these parts. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for everything and don't forget to love life and be kind. I am a prodigy, I am a leader, they follow me.